Hey buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is sort of the game. I am doing something a little different today. Uh, this is the live stream of the brand new Hearthstone adventure that's about to be announced. So I wanted to make a video, uh, just I guess sort of a reaction video, or at least uh, covering this event so that you guys can also see it as well. I don't know what's coming, uh, and most of this is in Chinese so far, so, <laughs> so far I have. Uh, very little clue what we're about to see. There are uh, English casters, but uh, they have not made themselves uh, known just yet. But apparently Ben Brode will soon take the stage to announce uh, the new party-themed, Karazhan perhaps themed uh, adventure that will be arriving hopefully in the next week or two. If you speak Chinese, I'm sure this is an enlightening event uh, for the rest of us. Uh, two random looking dudes speaking gibberish, holding uh, a very First, ugly microphone, and then this guy has the fanciest microphone I've ever seen. So, and he thinks Ben is hilarious. I don't know why he said that. All right, I think I think he wants to say Ben is funny, and he also wants really wants the autograph from all our game designer, and also in the end, he really wants to be one of the game designer for Blizzard. I'm not sure if he can do that or not. If 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 he can. I think it's a big day for him. Alright, I'm not sure if this guy is English or Chinese is more awkward for me. <laughs> could they have not got this guy a better microphone? He's like holding it looks like a, something that could activate a bomb at any moment. I think the innkeeper back there staring into my soul. Ah, okay, all right. So the last guy, uh, we asked him to say one thing to all those game designers here and represent all the Chinese players. And the one thing he want to say is he really want to give you guys a big hug for creating this game. Uh, that's really warm. We can give you a big hug, can you? Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very certain no one cares about these guys and they just want to see the new adventure. Big hug. Big hug. <laughs> All right, we enjoyed that little uh, look into the China Joy Convention. Hope you guys were enjoying those riveting interviews. If you, Dan, if you could say one thing to uh, to all the Blizzard Hearthstone designers, they're probably watching right now, so we can, <laughs> you could say it truthfully, what would it be? Four mana. Seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, President Nettie. Faceless. It's uh, Ken. And he wants to just say some stuff and just chill with you guys and just welcome everybody who's tuned in to the channel. He wants to say some stuff. Hi,各位。在今天这个派对里面,我们即将要公布炉石传说下一个冒险模式的一个内容。这一次是历史上第一次报社在中国宣布一个新产品的内容,可以说是一个非常值得纪念的一个日期。那么重要的一个事情,我交给我们 If you're unfamiliar with NetEase, we're excited that this is the first time that we get to use Lucy Transor's new content for Arson in China.Lucy Transor的首席设计师 Ben Bro.Now please welcome to the stage, Ben Bro.Let me introduce our special guest, Ben Bro. I didn't know Frodan spoke Chinese. Apparently, though, he's at least translating that moderately well. Greetings! Well met! Thanks for coming, and hello to everybody watching at home on the internet. My name is Ben Brode. I'm the lead designer on Hearthstone. And I'm super excited to talk to you guys today from China Joy about what's next for Hearthstone. This is the first time that we've ever done a Hearthstone announcement in the People's Republic of China. And actually, it's the first time we've ever done one outside the United States. So I'm really happy to be here. And while I'm here, I wanted to congratulate the People's Republic of China on winning the recent cross-region 
Gold Series Chinese First European Tournament. And I also wanted to, yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to thank our incredible partners at NetEase for doing just an awesome job operating, China, operating Hearthstone here. They've been really awesome to work with. All right, look. You guys have been kicking butt recently. You dominated the grand tournament. You stopped Rafam from stealing the Staff of Origination. And you withstood the whispers of the old gods. When you do stuff like that, people take notice. And now, you've been invited to the greatest party Azeroth has ever seen. This is a one-night-only event that people will be talking about for centuries. Anybody who's anybody will be there. The Get cheese. ready for Hearthstone's newest adventure. Get off the stage, bro. Your host, the great Magus Medivh, invites you back to party down with me. Come inside, meet your friends at the door. We've got a feast like you've never seen before. Take your stuff to a musical beat. Play life size chess, chess, but don't you dare cheat. Most of all, throw your words. <laughs> One night in Karazhan. That was something, One guys. One night in Karazhan. <laughs> this is Karazhan reimagined. This is Karazhan from a simpler time. If you played through World of Warcraft's Karazhan, you might remember this epic banquet hall or the iconic Karazhan Opera House. We wondered what would these places have been like back when there were living people in them, back when there were magnificent parties in this tower, back when <laughs> can't get over that trailer. most powerful archmage Disco was Medivh also is something most else. eligible bachelor. Medivh is throwing the ultimate party. <laughs> he's Reno enchanted the, every element of his tower for the big event. He's enchanted the silverware to do a little dance before each course. He's placed a magic mirror in the foyer to compliment his guests as they arrive. This party is going to be legendary. You arrive one hour before the party starts and Mediv is missing and the spells that he cast for the party have begun to unravel. You need to fix a tower gone mad, find Mediv, and save the party. What's Beauty and the Beast right there? The first floor of Karazhan is the parlor, where Morose will greet you and let you in early to help. The silverware has gone crazy, and some of it has glommed together into a silverware golem. <laughs> He's a little too enthusiastic <laughs> about serving dinner. Nice. The magic mirror that Medivh set up to compliment guests has started insulting them instead. What's up? What's up? And the chess set that Medivh set out has got a mind of its own. Now, in so World of Warcraft, the chess event is one of the most iconic boss fights. And actually, one of the designers who worked on that event helped design this mission for Hearthstone as well. It took a lot of work, but I'm really proud of it, so I'll show you a video 
And you'll see in this video, the chess pieces attack automatically at the end of the turn, and they'll strike whatever minion is directly across from them. If there's two minions directly across, it'll hit them both. Here's what it looks like in game. Hmm. On the song, the chess move. So positioning is really important here. There's also a sneak peek at the new Karazhan board. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hot tubs there. So that's there. the first Rubber level donkey. of Karazhan where most of the party is set up. So here's some cards you'll earn for completing it. New cards, new cards. It's not bad. The Ivory Knight is a paladin minion with a unique take on the discover mechanic. Now, instead of choosing the best spell, you might choose something like any fin can happen if you really need a big heal. It's a, an anti-kill bot sort of card. The I can second see level it being pretty good of Karazhan is the world famous opera. Barnes runs the opera and he's super excited about tonight's event. Barnes wants to run one last rehearsal and he loves audience participation. So you'll have to help Barnes put on three great plays before he'll let you up through the tower. Act one! The great love story of Romulo and Julianne. Do you fight your thumbatus? Act two! The mysterious big bad wolf. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away. Act three, you'll have to defeat the wicked crone with the help of Dorothy. Oh my, my! Oh, whoa. Now Dorothy will give different powers to your minions depending hmm. on it's which cool side effect. of Dorothy you play them on. Here's what that looks like in game. I don't think that's a collectible card by the way, so don't get your hopes up. I think that's just a, an adventure card. So you can choose to give your minions either charge or taunt. And you want to make sure at least some of your minions get taunt, because otherwise things could go badly. 100 damage, still 100 damage. Jeez Louise. Oh, that's a cool effect. If the echo effect here is really annoying, by the way. If you put on those great plays, you'll be rewarded with these cards. Oh, ooh, cards, plural. <laughs> the kindly grandmother is a hunter card that's a little like the haunted creeper in that it's a sticky minion for hunter decks that your opponent may not want to kill. Here's what the big bad wolf looks like when it's revealed. And here's another new card. That's a lot of stats for two the legendary drop. minion Barnes himself. It's a four three for two. It's aggressively aligned for hundred two. Hmm. Interesting. I think that's too inconsistent at first glance to be this good. But crazy. He's basically get a Ragnaros though. It's worth of stats. Pretty good. And he summons an actor that's to true, play though. the it's role of a minion yeah. in your deck. It's actually it not like that bad. Game. If you have a lot of good death rattles or any cards with effects, it could be pretty nuts. Because you're right, you're, you're getting good stats anyway. It's actually a pretty good card. Ooh. Seems pretty good! Alright, the third level of Karazhan is Medivh's prize menagerie. That's pretty cool. Looking. Creatures from all over the world are gathered and penned up here and tended to by the massive mechanical curator. Now without Medivh, the curator's programming has gone haywire. This curator, this curator is, is song. song. Instead of keeping the creatures in their cages, he's just letting them loose. It's really just one flipped bit. You will have to reprogram the curator and he will help you wrangle the escaped creatures so you can move up through the tower. Creatures like Nightbane, 
The dragon, Ooh, cool. the dragon night bane, once called Arcanagos, once called Arcanagos. uncontrolled magic, uncontrolled warped, magic his warped his mind. And this guy, the demon, the Ilhus, demon Ilhus, most dangerous, most dangerous exhibit. exhibit. Approach, with, Approach caution. with caution. If you can tidy up the menagerie with the curator's help, you'll earn his new legendary card. Taunt, draw a beast dragon and murloc from your deck. Whoa. <laughs> if you thought Ancient of Lore was good, this is a 4 6 taunt. Draw three, three cards. cards. Yeah, but you have to course, pick have to super odd cards. Make a cards. literal zoo deck to make use of him. That's tough. I don't know. I don't think that's good. The very top level He's gonna of slot a murloc in just to take advantage of that. Private quarters. Unless we get a good new Murloc. This is where Mediv opens portals. Maybe see playing Paladin. The far off no land. beasts in Paladin though. And the creature that helps control those portals is the fearsome dragon Nether Spite. My, exp my experiments. You are disturbing in their delicate balance. In World of Warcraft, portals opened all around Nether Spite, and beams shot out of those portals, connecting with Nether Spite and empowering him. Here's what that looks like in Hearthstone. Oh, cool. So those beams empower Nether Spite, but you can play your own minions in the path of those beams to force them to empower your own minions instead. Huh. I like it. Now, Nether Spite isn't alone at the top of this tower. Every good wizard's tower needs a curmudgeonly ghost and the shade of Iran haunts the top of Karazhan, preventing intruders from accessing Medivh's private experiments. If you can make it past Iran, you'll have to use Karazhan's portals to find Medivh and save the party. Here's a great road card you'll earn as a party favor. Need something unique. Huh. It's burgle. Under the Ethereal Peddler city is pretty good for the types cost. Of, uh, it's a 5 6 minion. I kind of like it. But it'll also reduce the cost of any cards you may have burgled from your opponent. So this could be the start of a brand new type of rogue deck. One pretty cool thing we're doing for this adventure is actually you'll climb up the interface from the bottom. Hmm. So it'll really give you the feeling of ascending the Tower of Karazhan. Here's something I'm really excited about. We're giving everybody a free prologue mission Everybody will get access to this, to this for free. You'll play as the Archmage Medivh, and you'll find out what happened to him before the party. You'll also earn two free cards. Here's the first of those. Free cards are good. Chanted Raven. Yeah. This is a druid minion, and it's also a beast. So this could be the start of a new druid beast deck. It's a good stat for the cost. In the free prologue. That's not too bad. Firelands Portal is a mage spell. It's a little Seems reminiscent of good, Fire actually. Elemental, in that it has an immediate impact on the board and summons a sizable minion to come with it. Here's some in game footage. It's like a fireball that's nuts. It's pretty good. Five is just as good as six most of the time. Looks like ETC was hanging out inside the portal. One night in Karazhan is 45 incredible new cards. 45 cards, it's big. 13 bosses across four wings and a prologue mission. And we'll be releasing wings weekly starting just two weeks. Two weeks. Hmm. That's like uh... if you buy the entire adventure during the first week of launch, you'll earn this 
awesome new card back. Uh, I like the disco ball. I love it. So groovy. <laughs> I don't like the rest though. <laughs> Guys, that is one night in Karazhan. The one team night has been in working Karazhan. so hard oh, on this adventure, and we can't wait to explore this iconic tower with you in just a couple weeks. That's it for me. Thanks for watching from China. Joy. <laughs> Nothing really hard to show off. I'm kind of sad. Booth tomorrow at 11 a.m. And this stream will continue at 4.30 with the Gold Premier League later on. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, Ben Broad, for that awesome reveal. One Night in Karazhan. That trailer had me in tears the first time I watched it, man. It was, it was great. so great. I feel like as an expansion, that was personally made for me. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be too egotistical, back. but the card it feels it feels good to be rewarded after all the years of service I gave Hearthstone and Blizzard that they're just like, you know, let's make an expansion. What would Frodan do if he was on the design team for just one day? And that's exactly yeah. what, what he would do. Yeah, but yeah. the music, the theme, you could tell the music that we had earlier on there in the pre-show uh, definitely fits. I was so surprised when they first showed us the trailer, but uh, the smile could not leave my face. <laughs> so I felt uh, too. Just super cool stuff. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on some of those cards. Let's do some wrap-up thoughts here before we end the stream. Uh, there's no more reveal of cards or anything today, but as you guys got information, uh, August 11th, it'll be coming out. 11th. Uh, you can buy the entire adventure the first week and get also an additional card back, which you guys showed the disco ball thing. Pretty cool stuff. You get to show off your friends. Also get two free cards just for playing the prologue, which is a guaranteed free wing, essentially. Everyone yep. knows that uh, the first wing was free also back in Next Ram. It's a very similar thing to that. Let's get some initial thoughts here from TJ. Uh, so what are, what are some things you're really excited about? Why don't we just go in order? Uh, starting off with Ivory Knight. Yeah. Six mana, four, four card. Paladin, discover a card, heal according to its cost. Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, the first things that shout out are the really expensive Paladin cards uh, because those can get you the most bang for your buck as far as the heal goes. Lay on right. hands all of a sudden becomes heal eight when you discover it with the Ivory Knight. Heal eight more. And then heal eight more and draw three cards when you get it. So uh, the body, you know, it's a six mana four four with such a powerful effect. Yeah. That's sort of where you'd expect it to be, but. Uh, it's pretty weak yeah. on the stat side, yeah. but you're not playing it in a deck where you're trying to fall, uh, get out to the board really fast. You're yeah. trying to play it for long-term value. Yeah. So perhaps control Paladin styles with like take it really slow, get the tool. It'd be really cool. Um, the kindly grandmother. This card I think has the vote of my best, oh. of the strongest card out of the ones revealed. A two mana one one minion that summons a three two. Both are beasts by good. the way, so they activate all of Hunter's activations, such as the Houndmaster and Kill Command. So I have a feeling that this card will be very strong and immediately starts launching Hunter, potentially back into the conversation being one of the top classes. Because one of the biggest things about Hunter is that his late game is so dominant, but his early game is very weak. Needs a lot of help. Yeah, you look at uh, Call of the Wild. And you just need to get through that early game. And this one, you know, there's, there's Yeah, I mean, Vanilla, Huge Toad is what you're on now. Two mana beasts that are 3-2s. <laughs> huge Toad is just, and King it's Sound Like one, one body or vastly to worse. It, which is, I, I don't know, I Great. think this is absurd. It's absurd, but at the same time, it does require some activation and sure. slow startup, which is ultimately what people want to see when it's a slower hunter deck. Yeah. I if it's a 3-2 that death rattles into a 1-1, then it's different. It's a much more aggressive card. Yeah. Uh, this one is like a slow buildup. You have to activate it first, so it's a turn or two yeah. before you get that. Um, Barnes, the legendary minion, I believe it's neutral, 4-mana 3-4, summons a 1-1 copy token that is a random minion in your deck. Uh, I think this card is really cool because it feels like you have a lot of build arounds. However, I do get a feeling very similar to the Herald Village, yeah. where it feels not as it's totally consistent better. as you'd like it to Way be. Way better. Um, even though it Herald, you have to have a board somewhere. already. Yeah, it, and it's it has expensive. To be built this is a cheaper you know, card. card. A deck has to be built around that card. Uh, you know, you could play sort of a value deck where you run a lot of like death rattle minions and try and pull some death it's rattle minions. It's way better there, than your own full uh, The things that come to mind are making sure you get out an Emperor of Thorsand from your deck, or right. uh, maybe even a Malagos, sure. you know, 1 1 Malagos. Powerful can... death rattles like Sylvanas would be great. Too. Sure, yeah. And if you can do it, you definitely want to build your deck very carefully when you consider this card. And I, if the activation does what you want, it's amazing. So yeah. you have to be very careful with how you construct your deck. But you look at about cards like, what if it pulls out the. Y your Yasharaj. Yeah. <laughs> and it just summons another big dude and another big dude. And it's like, this yeah. is kind of crazy because remember, it's a copy of the minion. It's not the minion itself, so it stays in your deck. And it's turn four. And it's turn four, very early in the game. Uh, my favorite card, the Curator. Seven mana, four, <laughs> six. Draw a Beast, Dragon, this or Murloc. This card's bad, though. I What's going on with Beast, this? Dragon, and Murloc. Right. 
from your deck. From your deck, yeah. Right, so you put them purposely into your deck. It's all different kinds of tribes. What's going on here, DJ? I don't know. This is sort of one of those cards in the pre that I was saying. The cards are like, what <laughs> What are they thinking making this card? But yeah. it's got some really interesting uses, and the stat line's actually okay. Uh, ben Brode sort of uh, uh, made it similar to Ancient of Lore, he said, which sure. uh, used to be 7 mana 5-5. Five, five, that draw two cards. Now it's a 7 mana 5-5 five, five, that draws one card. Uh, this draws three cards. Even though they have to be a Murloc, a Dragon, and a Beast. It's actually probably it's playable if it's cards, just right? like a Dragon a and a really Murloc. So. Yeah, you might make your deck Paladin, around for instance, Malikos could work around that with Murloc Knight and uh, Murloc Dragon Synergy. Or even just the Murloc, like Sir Finley, that you need to yeah. fish out of your deck so you can improve your hero power. A lot of possibilities. Uh, Eternal Peddler, the rogue card, 5 mana, 5 6, reduce the cards of other class cards. So it combines well with Undercity Huckster. Uh, the Grand Crusader, Burgle. So, Rogue gets some really fun tools. Is it enough to push it into conversation of being a viable deck, TJ? I think we're going to need to see some more mechanics from Rogue that let them steal cards from other classes. Yeah, Thief class, finally. Yeah, sure, yeah, exactly, you know. Um, we have, you said, Undercity Huckster. There's even Grand Crusader, which is a neutral card that yeah. gives you a Paladin card. He said that, Tyrion, I believe, is another <laughs> yeah. card that you can steal from your opponents. So I know Rogue players are still kind of going through an identity crisis, but experiment around and maybe you can get some really fun uh, Thief Rogue or, you know, kind of like a Thief yeah. deck that would be going. That's not a Priest class. Yeah, and it's a 5-6. And it's a 5-6, so five, the stat line is, passes. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the final two cards that you get for free. You get Enchanted Raven, a 1 minute 2-2 two -two beast for Druid. Ooh. Just very f vanilla stats. Simple, but powerful. I'm a sucker for those just new, powerful vanilla cards. Like, what, what vanilla cards can they make? It's a 1 minute 2-2. worse than Living Roots, though, maybe. And uh, I I've experimented with some aggressive beast Druid decks. And, you know, this is the, the mark of Yashiraj, the 2 mana uh, uh, Druid spell that gives your beast plus 2, plus 2, and draws a card. This is a perfect activation for that. You can use it very early on in the game. And you buff it up, make it a 4-4. Uh, that's got potential. I really like this card. Yep, you look at Living Roots, very similar in stature. Living Roots has more flexibility, but it's not a beast. So perhaps this gives Beast Druid a little bit yep. of an extra push, so that way you guys can see it more commonly played. And finally, it's the a good Firelands tool. Portal, which, by the way, they didn't, uh, they didn't clarify on the thing, but there's going to be five total portals, very similar to the Forbidden yep. uh, spells that you saw in Whisper of the Old Gods. All of them are going to be do doing very similar things to this portal. The Mage is a 7-mana deal 5, summon a 5-cost card. Really cool stuff. Uh, would love to talk it's more about mechanic. it, but we're pretty we're much portals. out of time for the recap it. So you guys have to just wait for more. Once again, some of the really important details. August 11th is going to be the release. There's going to be a new game board, as you guys saw with the theater, orbs, the divs, uh, pool of mana, a.k.a. the hot tub. There's going to be some new mechanics and stuff to, to take a look at. The, the, the four wings with the parlor, the opera, the Marat, the menagerie, the spire, all going to be coming. Again, August 11th, 45 new cards, 13 missions, and four wings. Make sure you guys get your order in the first week so you can get that card back. But we're pretty much done here. So for Brandon TJ, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we see you guys out there on the battlefield to go card slaying with us in just a couple of weeks. See you guys next time. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, crazy theme, funny, goofy, but that's Hearthstone, right? So you can't complain. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me. I'll of course be covering uh, all this craziness and uh, doing card reviews as soon as they're out uh, and playing through the adventures as well. So stick around to uh, see all that stuff in the very near future, just a couple weeks before One Night in Karazhan actually lands. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and uh, enjoying this. Uh, this reveal party with me, and until next time, game on.